Hey guys, we're going to do a software engineering deep dive into the courses from WGU today. This is from the software engineering WGU degree. This will be the only degree I'll be doing this for. I'll be going, going over some courses that will be important for your job, what skills you need to learn, what classes seem like the funnest. You know, obviously you're trying to become a software engineer with this degree, correct? Or you probably wouldn't be doing it. I mean, don't get me wrong. You can get a software engineering degree and work almost any tech job but a lot of you probably have your eyes on being a software engineer. So we'll go over the courses that are important to being a software engineer. The courses that are the cornerstone of this program. So we're gonna take a deep dive into the courses and I'll talk about the courses and I will go over whether it's an OA or PA and I will also talk about the useful skills that you will learn. I have not taken a lot of these courses so I will not be giving you tips how to pass them but what I will be doing is going over how these skills are important to your future career and what you should learn what you should retain you know what to expect in these courses and what do these skills apply to so I'll be going over a deep dive right now let's get in it hey this is programming in Python we're going to cover so this course you're probably likely going to do at study.com but either way I will talk about it. So programming in Python, what would you need Python for? So if you're going to be a front end developer, which is probably the avenue most people are going to take with this degree, basically a front end developer will learn HTML, JavaScript, CCS, and maybe things like React, you know, TypeScript and all of those things. So for the most part, you will not need Python, but something you will need Python for is when you're passing leak code algorithms, like you get a job interview, the easiest method to pass those algorithms is with Python because it's a simple language. So you do want to know Python and you probably want to take those coding challenges to pass those interviews with Python. Now, don't get me wrong, you are going to be learning a decent amount of JavaScript. So you might want to just do it in JavaScript, but Python is much cleaner, more efficient, and much easier to do data structures and algorithm style interviews with than JavaScript. So Python, also, if you want to work in AI at some point, you can definitely work in AI with a software engineering degree. You have to learn the skills. Uh, Python is a very universal language. It's used in data. You know, um, if you want to work in data, which you can also do with this degree, you can do anything with this degree. This is a great degree. Sure, it's geared towards software engineering, but you can work in a variety of fields as long as you add on the skills on top of it and try to get your foot in the door somewhere. But Python programming is probably, I wouldn't say the easiest language, but it might be the combination of the most easiest and efficient language. Uh, and it's extremely universally used. It's probably the most popular programming language. Uh, when people want to learn their first language, usually they pick Python. So. Python has grown in popularity over the past six to seven years. It's become extremely popular. Uh, I love Python myself. Um, I love the Swift coding language. I love Python. Um, I'm not a big fan of front-end development, but, um, but with front-end development, honestly, you're not going to be doing much coding anyways, and I'll get to that when I cover the front-end development class. But for the most part, Python is a very crucial language. I'll go ahead and I don't know what the WGU class entails, um, but I do know the study.com class is pretty simple to pass. You know, it's a bunch of quizzes. You'll have a final exam and you'll have a project that is pretty intermediate level. It's not too hard, um, but you will have to, you know, take your time on it. But uh, programming in Python, you know, very important. Whether you take it at study.com or WGU, you know, you do want to learn Python. So make sure you add that skill to your resume, add that skill to your knowledge. Python is very crucial to know. And like I said, it will look great on your resume, especially if you want to work in data or AI in the future. And it's very useful for passing those programming interviews. This next class is user interface design. So in this class, you're basically going to be designing the user interface and you will have, us, you will have assignments for it. Uh, for WGU that you'll have to turn in. You know, you have to design the interface. Um, pretty simple course as well. Uh, your 
going to have to spend time with creativity, though. You're going to have to spend time actually illustrating and designing. Um, but like I said, if this is great for websites, it's great for mobile apps. User interface design is huge. You know, as if you're a front end developer, you will be doing a lot of user interface design. If you're a mobile developer, you will also be doing a lot of user interface design. So this is very crucial to your knowledge, very crucial to your skill set, something you want to learn. It's something you need to know. It is part of your stack that you need to know. You need to know. So what is a stack in tech? It's basically your, your skill set. You want to have a large skill set, a large stack. Stack can be a bunch of programming languages you know, um, a bunch of skills you know, just a lot of things that you can add to your knowledge, to your resume, and it will show employers that you are very skilled. You know, and you also want to have the mind for it. You want to have the mind for a user interface. You know, you want to be able to design something that's eye appealing. You know, programming isn't just code. You kind of have to be creative and have a knack for what looks attractive, what looks like the user will like it. So you're not just programming, you know, like you need to be creative. You need to know what looks good to a common customer, a common user. So this class will help you with that. You know, you'll design an interface and it will give you that skill. So on to the next course. So this is the mobile developer course in WGU. It is the only mobile developer course that they have, and it will be based off Kotlin. So Kotlin is the programming language to design Android apps. It's basically like a version of Java. So the Java classes will definitely come in handy. So I prefer uh, Swift and iOS myself, but I also prefer mobile development in general over web development and you know all of you know the basic front end web development so i like both front end and back end mobile development especially front end mobile development so you know if that's your avenue this class will be uh really interesting to you you know if you want to be a mobile developer this class will be very crucial to your learning now if you want to design apps for android then i think all the java courses and this course will be very important to you if you want to learn iOS, you know, I would say probably only this course will be important, but it's not going to be, you're not going to be learning Swift or iOS, but you'll learn some basics of mobile development. Also, if you want to be a mobile developer, the user design courses are going to help you a lot as well. So, you know, this is a fundamental course. It's a project at WGU. You will turn in a mobile app and you know, I've heard it. This one is kind of intermediate difficulty. I've heard you can take the cert port in the spreadsheet that I will have in this description. You can take the cert port course and the cert port iOS course, and you can get this course done. So you don't have to take it at WGU because I have heard this course is kind of clunky at WGU and not exactly the greatest. So I would personally try to get it out of the way, but if you do want to take it at WGU, you know, you'll learn Kotlin, you'll design an Android app, turn it in, you know, pass the course. So if you want to be a mobile developer, this is a good course to have. It's a good knowledge to learn. I wasn't going to cover this course because I feel like you're not going to learn much from it. But the software engineering course at WGU, which I do recommend to take on WGU instead of study.com or any other platform, is a it's like a two, three day writing assignment. It will teach you the basics of like how the cycle of software engineering goes, like when things get submitted, you know, when things get edited, um, the paperwork involved, things like that. You actually won't be doing any coding in this. This is a very simple two to three day course. Uh, it's not really gonna teach you much hard skills. It's gonna teach you more soft skills of kind of like how, how it all works, like the flow of it. And like when you have deadlines and when to turn things in, and like the whole process, like the software development life cycle. So you'll learn that in this uh, course, but this course is kind of a filler class, to be honest with you. You should be able to knock it out at WGU in a matter of two to three days. So software engineering, pretty simple course. Looks good on your, it looks good on your uh, transcript and resume though. So this is the user experience class. And a lot of people get 
user interface design and user experience kind of mixed up. In reality, it kind of is very similar. And the same thing, user experience is more looking at it from the customer experience, you know, how they would experience the app. You know, there's some psychology that goes on here. At WGU, I don't really think they get into the psychology aspect too much. I think basically you're going to design a wireframe. Um, you know, you're going to make a customer account and basically have customer feedback. You know, from what I heard, this is a pretty simple course. It's a little more time consuming, though, because the assignment takes a lot of steps. Um, you know, research this one on Reddit or WGU Facebook groups, and they'll walk you through the steps of it. Uh, it's not complicated, but it's kind of long. So, you know, this course might take you a good five days or so. Um, but if you are fast, it could be much quicker. So user experience, it will show you what users like, what they want to experience. It'll give you some creativity ideas. Um, basically, user design and user experience, very similar things. Uh, if any of you are familiar with UI slash UX design, these two things always go together. So this is crucial if you want to be a UI designer, a UI experience, if you want to work in that field. That field is very hard to break into, but you can work in that field if you get this degree and you learn the skills and obviously you network or get an internship. Obviously there's a lot of UI design and UI experience in software engineering itself but there are pure rules that are just UI design and UX experience where you don't have to do you know, any coding, you know, anything like that. So those jobs are a little harder to break into, but it is an actual job field. So this will teach you those skills. And it's a nice, it's a nice course to have on your transcript and resume if you ever wanna get into that field. So this, this course is a very good course, um, very important. So. You, uh, user experience. All right, guys, we're running out of time. I don't really want this video to eclipse too much longer after 20 minutes. We're going to go over all three Java courses basically at the same time here. So Java is a enterprise language. A lot of companies use it, and that is why WGU has incorporated Java as like the main language, Java and JavaScript as the main language of this degree. They have three separate courses on Java. So you know, Java is a very fundamental language. It's used in a lot of enterprise applications, um, a lot of enterprise work in general. You know, all, most websites, any kind of app they use, they will use Java. Um, so Java is very important to know. Like I said, if you want to be a software engineer, most people know Java or at least have some kind of knowledge of Java. And I do not recommend doing the C++ version of this degree because Java is much more important when it comes to landing a software engineer job and working in the enterprise private sector, basically. Whereas C++, there are some private sector jobs, but C++ is more reserved for like cybersecurity, um, military, uh, government stuff, um, you know, tech stuff. You know, software engineering doesn't use C++ all that often. So Java is just much more important if you want to be, you know, job ready, uh, better skills for a job for the most part. If you want to work in private sector as a software engineer, you need to know Java. You need to know the ins and outs of it. And personally, I'm not a huge fan of Java, but, you know, it's like kind of clunky and just a lot of lines of code, like a uh, some of the syntax is like really long, but for the most part, Java, it's a good skill to have on your resume. Like I said, if you want to work with any kind of enterprise software, uh, a lot of it does use Java. So pay attention to these three courses, you know, do your best to learn it. Java is a very important skill to know. So remember, if you're going to work on any kind of like any kind of web app, you know, Java is very crucial. Any kind of enterprise software need to know Java. So crucial to becoming an engineer, crucial to landing a possible job in the future. So Java, all three courses, pay attention, learn it, uh, put it on your resume, you know, very important skill. So that's it for today's video, guys. I've covered most of the important classes. Uh, 
obviously there's a lot of classes in this degree program. I'm basically the classes that will have to do with having knowledge about getting a job, you know, courses that you will use on the job. Those are the courses I have covered. So, you know, these are the courses you want to pay attention to the most. These are the skills that you want to learn. You know, all of these courses will have a play in one, you getting a job and two, uh, applying these skills to the job. So these courses I have listed are basically a combination of what you're going to do on the job. Whereas the Python course you need for interviews. You don't necessarily need it. You can do it in a different language, but I recommend Python. Also, if you want to work in AI, Python is usually used along with data. So all of these courses are very fundamental to your portfolio, fundamental to you getting a job, fundamental having on your resume, and they will help you become a software engineer in the future, and they will help you grow uh, as a software engineer. So I wish you guys the best of luck. Anybody who's in this degree, it looks like a really fun degree. The courses look really fun. The courses I just listed for all of you look really fun. And like I said, there's plenty of other degrees at WGU as well. If you need my help with anything, just let me know in the comment down below. You can also email me. Uh, my, my email is on my channel. So I wish you guys the absolute best of luck. I want you guys to succeed. I got some other good videos coming up as well. I'm going to start talking about some Coursera stuff, stuff in the certificate programs that they have, which are really, really good. Those will help you learn a programming language because this degree will not really help you have the skills to be a software engineer. I'm just going to be honest with you. And that goes for any computer science or software engineering degree from any school. You're going to have to learn some programming language on the side, you know, become more knowledgeable in a certain language and hone your skills in that language. And you're also going to have to learn data structures and algorithms to pass an interview as well. So there is self learning after a degree to be had. So I will go over some Coursera videos of programming languages you can learn, you know, data analytics um, that use Python. I'll be going over, you know, some other stuff as well. So stay tuned for those videos. My WGU videos, I think I only have about one left, maybe two. So it's been a good ride with the WGU content, but I'm going to get into other stuff that can help you with your actual career. I've helped you with your education. At least I think I have. So I'd like to help you with your career, trying to land a job, trying to switch jobs, you know, trying to get into the tech field because it is slightly saturated and it's harder to get into. So I am here for your journey. I'm here to help you try to break into it. Or if you want to transition, let's say you're already a software engineer, maybe you want to get into data. So I am here to offer any advice I can possibly give you. So anyways, guys, I hope you get this degree done, have fun doing it, learn the skills. Have a good night.